I, uh, I just cut all my hair off recently. I used to have long hair. I looked like a cocker spaniel. <laughs> and I cut it all off, and now I look like Marv from Home Alone. <laughs> so that's great. Real sticky bandit. And a real Daniel Stern vibe. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing those jokes, keep Daniel Stern's alive, because uh, his career is dead as fuck. <laughs> I haven't done shit in a while. Yeah, this is great. Everybody's drinking. That's solid. I used to drink all the time. I'd black out left and right. I got a real glass jaw when da Jack Daniels starts throwing punches. Just go <laughs> straight down. The worst hangover I ever got from blacking out was in Scotland. I woke up from a night of drinking and I puked blood. Ooh, no. <laughs> But then I remembered I ate flaming Hot Cheetos the night before, so... That... And then I remembered they don't sell flaming Hot Cheetos in Scotland. So I think I shook something loose I can't put back. Not good. Yeah, but I used to be late all the time because of that, blacking out. That's the worst. You know, I was gonna, if I was late for this job, one more time I was gonna be fired. No. And it was at a dog daycare. We know I can't miss out on those benefits. <laughs> My 401 canine was about to kick in. Really needed that. So I woke up after drinking in a panic. I just start getting dressed, just grabbing anything in front of me, just shirts, pants, shoes, winter coat, throw it on. I'm outside and I'm running full speed. And that's when I realize it's June. It's 85 degrees outside. And I'm running full speed in a winter coat. <laughs> Like a dog that got turned into a man and wasn't dealing with it well. Like, what is happening? Like a crackhead in a marathon. Like, fast, but wrong clothes. So I get to the corner where I see the last bus, the final bus that could get me to work on time, pull away. And I scream into the ether. I'm just like, no, fuck! And that's when a car screeches to a halt, the window's already down, and the dude inside's like, get in, we're gonna catch that bus. <laughs> now, not all hero heroes wear capes, but they do drive Trans Ams, so stranger danger be damned, I jump in this car, and this dude starts driving like a hammer drunk Indy car racer. There's no regard for life or limb, he's all over the map. And I look at him and I'm like, dude, thanks so much for the ride, but I gotta ask you, why just stop? And he looked at me for way too long for how fast he was driving. So. I fucking hate buses. And that's when I realized we weren't trying to catch a bus, we were hunting it, which is a way different vibe. I was waiting for him to cock a shotgun with one hand and be like, aim true, and I'm like, who in here has shot a gun? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> that is... All right, if you didn't woo, let's hang out later. And if you did, we're cool. Like, no worries. I'm chill. Yeah, so this guy is blazing down Ashland Avenue. The bus pulls over and he like Blues Brother e-brake turns in front of it. Like, and I'm getting out. And he's like, hey man, do me a favor. And I'm like, sure thing, Hoss. What can I do? And he's like, tell that bus driver to fuck himself and drove off with his middle finger through the moonroof like a real American hero. Like a guy who gets you a real good deal on fireworks, you know? I get on the bus and the driver's like, what was that guy's problem? I don't know, but he fucking hates you, dog. 